Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to create means how to edit my profile. Means teacher said we did like edit profile. So do you want to edit for this profile? Means this user he can log in. Like teacher this teacher log in and he need to edit. He is a profile, so he can do it like this. We did in last video. We added like teacher said my account, my account like a mail. Now we can do here. Now in this video we can do student said my. So the student want to need to edit his profile, student also can do it. Like I can go edit. So you can see it here. So all the information student can edit. So let's start now using the student side. So I log out. I log in as the three students. So let's create the password. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can update. I already copied for this email. So now I log out. And now I log in again this student okay so this is the student I have a view only done before like a change password now we can do here like a my account we all did inside teacher side do you want to follow the series so I think you know about that but I will show you okay suppose first of all you need to go resources inside you need to go layouts inside you need to go headers and uh, just wait few seconds Okay, let's go down. So you can see type is equal to one means admin, two means is a teacher. So you can see here we have added my account. Let's copy and put inside a student side. And you can change to your student. Like we have get here URL student account. And also we have put here account because we need to active class here. And here we have like my accounts. So let's go back to website and refresh the page. So you can see it here, we are done like a my account menu. I will click on the my account menu. So you can see it, routes not found. So let's create a for this routes. So you need to go like the route inside you need to go web. Web inside you can go to like a student middleware because we have did role wise middleware. So you need to check our previous video how to work role wise middleware. So you can understand. So just copy teacher's account to put here student accounts okay now i go for the user control inside we have already created teacher and my account so just we need to make here condition if if auth user type is equal to is equal to 2 to here lc widget type is equal to is equal to going to 3 so it's going to here we can see like a student inside my account because user type means we have created user type I can show you inside user table so you can easily understand so you go to down and you can see here you see one admin two means teacher three means student and fourth means parents <coughs> okay now we need to create the, this page inside student so student folder inside so here i can create one page my account dot blade dot php okay page explicitly created let's refresh the page so you can see working not working working very well because the blank page found so you can see it here like a blank page. So just you need to go inside a admin, inside student, inside edit.blade.php. Just copy all and put here. After go up and just you can change to edit to student. I can show you first. I refresh the page. Okay. So I think we need to remove some like my class we need to remove. Let's remove the my class because this is generate the errors. Let's go back again. Let's the page. So you can see it. Here's the title showing my account, but here showing the all the edit from student we have copy code in admin side. So showing all from here. Just we need to remove edit student. We need to write here my account. Okay, now first name, name, last name, name, admission number we don't need. 
roll number we he don't change gender he can change so he can date of birth he can change this is the mobile number admission dates he can't change let's do admission dates in to him blood group height weight he can do it status he can't do it change to status go back and refresh so you can see it mobile numbers so now do you think what will to him we need to remove the passwords also so let's remove the passwords let's refresh i think now is good everything first name last name gender date of birth and mobile numbers i think everything is good now okay so i can show you again course so you can see it code here showing my account here showing the forms after first name last name gender here date of birth and also auto fill here because this is the get record variable we have already pass here you can see it here to here and this is the function we have created inside user model so you can see it here okay so we just go back again and cast mobile number profile pic blood group height weight emails so here is uh, i think all the fields we need inside my account this one i will show you here okay now we need to click on the update so we need to update all the information to his account so let's create a update function so just go to back and copy this route inside teacher side and just put here update my account student we need to create a new and here you can change teacher to student okay now we need to go inside user controller user controller inside we need to create a new function function request dollar request so let's dd i will print all the post message data here okay so let's close this file we don't need any more here we have created like the student account same because of the here we have pass action is null null means is a same as above url so this is the uri we for get method and also i use for post methods i refresh now i click on the updates so you can see we can find the all the data name last name gender date of birth caste mobile number blood group height weight and emails so just we need to validate some functions so just go up oh, this is the like the teachers just copy all thing and put here and here you need to change like users inside email so we already passed like the email validation mobile number validation material status so let's go back again to admin side okay admin side to go to like student controller inside you need to go down like we can copy for the his record like validation student validation so we we need to remove this one we don't need any more now so which which one we are using like gender so not using we can to admission number we are not using so roll number we are not using to move i think other thing we are using for the validation so we need, okay so now we need to go first again just copy all things and put here okay so here we will just get single means i already show you inside user models we have created this function name we need admission number roll number we don't need class id we don't need so to me date of birth we need profile pic we need because all the profile uploaded inside database so he, we need to remove and we need to upload new one so here is a data we need uh, we don't need admission date we don't need a like a status and we don't need a like a password so i think is good uh, here is showing the accounts fully updated Okay, let's see. I think it will be good. Here is a validation about users. Like we are checking for this user email address. We don't want to check. We need to check other one. This is when we are pass a like authentication ID. Whatever user log in this ID. Uh, name, last name, gender, date of birth, profile pic, and cast, mobile number, blood group, height, weight, and emails. Let's see here. I think is everything there here. Cast, mobile number, blood group, test, emails. Okay. Let's refresh the page because we have done code here, update code. So let's refresh the page and just we can click on the update function. 
so it's working very well no issue so but i will change your name one click on the updates so you can see it one is there suppose i can type like here admin at the regimen.com because this is the email address we have already registered in our database different user so i click on the updates so he's giving me the validation this image has already has been taken because of the we have right here validation suppose you can go inside my account so you can see it here we have already did like a validation also we have passed here old method like uh, you can see it old image and you will see it here data like validation error so i already copied before this image whatever there before just i can put i click on the update so it's working very good suppose you can add here like mobile number like this and you can click on so showing the mobile number validation also you see okay mobile number validation blood group height weight we have made a validation you can see it here let's close you can see it maximum 10 you see maximum 10 so validation working very good no issue but now is a confusion you are updated but you don't see here message so we need to show here message so we have uh, already created before like uh, insights so you can see it here like dot dash messages because we have passed here all the messages here just need to include here so where is the we can include i think here let's try here okay include dollar message i think otherwise we can go parents instead go to not parents instead we can go to like a teachers instead go to my accounts we already made this message just copy and put i think same same place okay now i go back again i refresh and i click on the updates so you can see accounts explain updated so updation working very good so means edit you can some people showing the edit profile some people showing like a some someone like like my account so i just choose a my account so you can see in this video i will explain how to create a my account in a student side next video i will create for a parent side so parent side he can edit his information after we can do like a here admin side i can log in the admins okay i can log in the admin so, so parent can he can do it his my account so with this parent need to change his information so he can do it easily okay and after we can do like a teacher side we can assign like a subject otherwise classes so so we know okay this is the teacher like a four subjects he need to learn so we can assign the classes so okay i hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this more videos so please subscribe our channel